Welcome to the all new Sports Visions. I'm DJ Jones alongside my good friend and traveling partner. How are you, sir? What's up, player? Hey, man, coming up in just a little bit, we'll have an opportunity to talk Super Bowl. Not only that deal, you know, one of the true tragedies in all of sports has happened. Kobe Bryant was killed in a helicopter crash, man, and we'll have an opportunity to live, relive the life and legacy of, of Kobe Bryant. A great legacy, DJ. He left a great legacy with the Lakers and really being a great uh, ball player, great husband, great friend to everybody in the NBA. He leaves a legacy. Also, National Signing Day. Of course, uh, you know, the early signing period has taken over, but <laughs> there is a signing day coming up on February the 5th, and uh, we're going to chat about that and a whole lot more coming up next on Sports Visions. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. We think you would really shine in the AFLAC program. AFLAC? Coach Saban, we have health insurance. Did health insurance pay for everything? No. We still have bills. AFLAC gives you money directly to help with those. AFLAC. And your deductibles, knee brace, whatever you choose. AFLAC sounds like a winner. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We try. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Get to know us at AFLAC.com. For all of your tire and service needs, be sure to visit Complete Tire and Service, 3109 Victory Drive in Columbus. For your convenience, we have a 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art building, premium environment to the customer. For workstations, Wi-Fi, we carry Bridgestone, Firestone, Falcon, and Continental. Our managers have over 125 combined years in the industry. We have 24-7 commercial roadside assistance, DOT inspections, complete automotive services. Our phone number is 706. 9400982 Be sure to visit Complete Tower and Service 7069400982 Welcome back to Sports Vision. I tell you, Dale, it's a sad time in the, in the world of sports. It's a, time, it's a sad time in, in, in the world, period, because uh, such a great, great man, a great ball player, a great uh, father, a great husband. Kobe Bean Bryant has uh, was died tragically in a helicopter crash deal. He has flown literally thousands of times, of course, throughout his career in his own private helicopter, but uh, crashed on uh, last Sunday and uh, had uh, several others on board, including his daughter, and a local community college coach there in his family. But, you know, it's a sad, sad time. And not just in the United States, Dale. This is a global, this is a global grieving. I mean, really, one thing about Kobe Bryant, he will really represented the NBA very well and in an international flavor, you know, being able to play ball overseas when his dad was uh, playing ball over there. I mean, really speaking two and three different languages, really. He was def definitely left an impact from an international standpoint, but really just national, man. You know, you have that that uh, decade of great players like Magic Johnson and the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Kobe has his lineage also, DJ, and really his lineage is really in play right now. All the young guys, you know, the LeBron James piece, you know, LeBron James just passing uh, Kobe and scoring uh, just the other day. And really, right, that's his group of guys. But really, he left a lasting impression on the NBA and their players. You know, this is, uh, again, just a shocking time. I'm still here several days later shocked. But I can remember when I, I, I got word or first got a glimpse of, uh, of this particular incident. And I was looking at my phone. And sometimes, you know, you know you, whether it's Facebook or whatever, something popped up. And I saw a headline that uh, Kobe Bryant killed in a helicopter crash. And I, I went yeah. to search and everything. And uh, this was on Sunday about, uh, you know, shortly after noon. Yeah. And I went searching. I couldn't find anything. So I just said, it's a, I, I chalked it up to fake news. Yeah. And uh, then I got another, uh, I got a text from another good friend, it's, you know, that, that basically verified the story. And then uh, the, you know, all the stuff, all the reports start coming in. And yeah. you know what? I, I just still was in a state of shock. Here I am here. It's almost seven, eight days later. I'm still really not believing. And I'm hoping that somebody could wake me up out of this nightmare. Uh, because again, uh, Kobe Bryant, again, I didn't know him personally, Dale, but the impact. 
you know, sports has been our life. And the impact right. of people like Kobe uh, is unlike any other. You, when you just think about all of the great men, the great coaches, the great athletes that have been brought to tears yeah. by the passing of Kobe Bryant, that's an impact in, within itself. That tells you a whole lot because, you know, yeah, you know, we're big, bad, big, bad athletes and, you know, we're A1 a uh, type A personalities. But you know what? Your heart still could be broken, and mine certainly has been, as, as you can see, a whole lot of other folks are around the world. You know, really, man, the biggest thing about it, and that impact DJ is long going. I mean, really, it, it reaches from here to all over the world. And I think really one thing that Kobe Bryant really left and really was a good thing for me, DJ, is the way that he was caring about his kids, his daughter. Coaching up his daughter, I think that part of DJ and really he was doing what he loved to do, always did. But I think really, you know, for him, he was a well-rounded guy, DJ, from winning Academy Awards, the MVP trophies and stuff in All-Star Games. You know, the youngest guy to ever play in an All-Star Game, really doing a great job, five NBA championships. I mean, really, he, he had all the accolades and really, but the impact and the influence is going to be definitely missed in the NFL. You talk I mean, about excuse a, me, in the NBA. You talk about <laughs> a type A personality, of course, a A lister. That's what they say. He's, he's box office. You know, this guy came up in the league as a, as a youngster, a teenager, a man, and uh, without going to college. But, you know, he was so uh, well mannered and had so much discipline. Again, he said he was such a competitor. He wanted to be the best. Obviously, uh, how he felt about Michael Jordan, uh, it drove him to wanting to be better than Michael Jordan. And, of course, having opportunity to play uh, at the highest level for 20 years, this guy was uh, the face of the Los Angeles Lakers deal. And, uh, you know, it, it goes beyond basketball with me. As you mentioned before, with the Academy Award and his transition out of uh, – out of pro, uh, professional basketball, you know, he was working on uh, his his second career, and again, he was so, he was already excelling at a high level by winning at one of those awards uh, for a short story, uh, and again that and, and some other production company ideas that he had out there. He's written children's books, but working and coaching his daughter, she she died in the plane crash with her, Gianna, and uh, you know, again, those other families. It's just a hard, hard thing to think about when you talk about his wife Vanessa yeah. and the uh, the remaining three daughters that he has here and for to to know that she kissed her husband and her daughter uh, for the last time when they left and just it's just it, it's just so much to think about man. it's it's a lot DJ and really you know the le again I keep going back to the legacy of, of Kobe Bryant because really I mean he really had a different style DJ he was well-rounded smart intelligent I mean really just for the era that he came up in you know the dress code came back in but really he didn't do a whole lot of talking I think really he showed his actions on the court but I think really you could tell how important this guy was to the to the NBA because of the shacks of the world the LeBron James and Michael Joy really this guy took uh, took marketing sports marketing and the NBA to another level and I think he's going to leave that legacy well one thing is for sure that the competitor in him he named himself the black mamba you say <laughs> what is a black mamba yes a snake is probably one of the most poisonous snakes in them in the world out of Africa uh, very elusive very quick very fast moving and uh, that's what he named himself and again to go with that competitive nature with all of those uh, he had a dog in him man that's what I loved about him realistically because you know as well as I do it playing sports you got to have a guy that has an edge I mean yeah you have to be talented and you really need to have a, a you know uh, IQ of whatever sports is, but if you don't have that dog in you at the end of the day, you know you just not, you're not gonna get that extra performance when you know when the when it's too hot, when it's too cold, uh, when you know when you're out of breath, when you're you know, when you're, I mean it's just having a dog man to fight yeah, to true. the end. Yeah, and I think he he has that DJ. And really, I think the best quote I heard about Kobe Bryant over the you know during these past few days has been that. He didn't like to play golf, DJ, because he didn't want to be average at anything. <laughs> so, you know, you know, and I thought, I thought that was real yes. big, but really, he had that spirit of excellence and a great work ethic. And really, you know, kids can kind of pick up something from this, DJ. When you work hard, good things happen for you. But, have, you know, a person might be better than you, but they still can't outwork you. So that, I mean, I think he left a great legacy with that. And really, everybody has great things to say about him. And really, he has the stats. He has the numbers. He has the legacy. One team played with the L.A. Lakers his whole career. 
I mean, that says it all right there. You think about his dad, his mom, and of course, uh, you know, his dad, of course, brought him up uh, over in Italy. You know, Kobe spoke several languages. He lived and went to high school in uh, Philadelphia, very, very prominent area there in the sports program. And then to come up and uh, again, into the NBA, uh, the Charlotte Hornets took him. And then, of course, uh, the coach at that particular town, time, Cowens, Coach Cowens didn't said that they didn't need him. They didn't want him. So he traded him away. Can you believe that a general manager, and how many times have we heard that story, yeah. a general manager or a league personnel uh, leader or, or a decision maker say, you know, we don't want this guy. We don't have, he's not good enough to make our club. But anyway, he ended up in L.A., a dream of his, and the rest is history. The rest is history. And when Jerry West laid eyes on this guy, <clears throat> excuse me, when he was 17, he said, we got to have this guy right here. And he did the willing and dealing to get him to the L.A. Lakers. And really, he couldn't have went to a better place. Well, on a, on a, on a brighter note, though, that uh, and he's talking about Kobe's legacy, we talked about all these great times. And yes, yeah, sure, we're going to be It's going to take more time of us grieving and mourning his loss. But you got to think about what's been left behind. A, a couple of basketball academies, if you will, if they are here. He's left all, over uh, a half a billion dollars in uh, resources and monies that, of course, his wife, Vanessa, I'm sure will be able to make sure that, uh, you know, Kobe's, all of uh, the entities that he was involved with will continue to grow. And those beautiful daughters that are remaining here, they'll be able to tell his story. And, of course, uh, through, uh, again, their eyes and through their lenses. And we'll still have Kobe with us. Uh, believe it or not. No doubt about it, DJ. Really, he planted a lot of seeds, DJ, and you can start to see him grow in the community, wherever he was. Really, all those seeds that he's been sowing, they're coming to fruition right now. Rest in heaven, Black Mamba. Hello, everybody. My name is Rosalind Murray. I'm the owner of Ros Cafe and Catering Services. I'm open seven days a week for catering and only on Sundays for dinner. So you can come in on Sundays only to pick up your delicious meal. I'm a one-stop shop for all your catering needs for weddings, pastor anniversaries, corporate events, family reunions, anything you need catering for. Call me at 706-992-6106. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or in my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people. But when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. Gear up for fall at Academy Sports and Outdoors. And welcome back to Sports Visions Dale. It's National Signing Day coming up on the 5th of February. And again, for the most part, I think that, uh, you know, the early signing period has outtrumped <laughs> all of what we have built, uh, gone to know as February 5th and it's National that's Signing right. Day. The first Wednesday in February, that's always been the uh, National Signing Day, DJ. But now with the early signing piece, hey, it, most of it is a halfway done with most of the schools, and they're just making it official. But I think really it's a lot of five stars out there, DJ. And there's some more kids out there, DJ, that need to sign. Well, you know, before we talk about some of those kids, I think that we need to talk about uh, some of these <coughs> moves and coaches' moves. Again, when you talk oh. about, you know, what, uh, of course, we talk, Ed Orgeron and LSU, they just won the national title, man. Boy, they lost their offensive coordinator, their defensive coordinator. You know what? It, it makes an impact. And I, I know that Ed Orgeron is gonna, he's gonna sign some of the great uh, coaches in, in college football. Kirby Smart has already changed the culture of his offensive football team. Dale, in his room, uh, in, in his coach's off, uh, staff or his on his coaching staff right now, he's uh, added three more offensive minds. Coach Monken, of course, is the OC, the head coach, and two other offensive uh, supposedly gurus, Dale. So, you know what? <laughs> the game plan as far as the University of Georgia and, and uh, Kirby Smart as we knew it, and we've been speaking it all year long, yeah. you know, it's, 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 I'm glad to see that he has understood. And again, you know, behind the scenes, you know that – he was hearing the noise, and he knew and realized that, yeah. as especially as a defensive coordinator, that the hardest things that, that, that gave him fits was a dual-threat offense <laughs> or a dual-threat uh, quarterback. And, again, now he has an opportunity 
to do that with Jamie Newman. He, uh, the Jamie Newman piece is real big, DJ. But really, you know, the trend, what's trending to me in college football has been this. It's a lot of changes going on, DJ. You got offense coordinators, defense going there, going here, going there. And, you know, really, you got your hat. You got to take your hat off to Nick Saban because he's been dealing with it for at least 10 years, DJ. He has great assistance, but they always leave one year in advance. They go somewhere else. And I think really, you know, what I picked up on is that it's a lot of these guys, these OCs and um, the defensive coordinators, DJ, they're going basically because of recruiting. And, you know, like Texas A&M, James Connolly, uh, uh, Jimbo Fisher picks him up from Georgia immediately, DJ, because he's an impact in the state of Florida. He signed a lot of kids for Georgia out of Florida. So they really, it's really getting real crafty and getting creative when it comes down to these college coaches, DJ. Absolutely. <laughs> and again, when you talk about the consistency, consistency of the staffs, so you know, Coach Joe had, you know, of course, he brought in Joe Brady and he, he worked with Coach uh, Ensminger. But you look at Dabo Sweeney and the success he's had. None of his coaches have left over the past few years. And again, you know, that continuity has been there. And again, the consistency is there. And those players, it, it made an impact on those players. But when you think about what Gus Malzahn just has recently done, yeah. signing <laughs> Kevin Steele to the richest uh, assistant coaches contract uh, in the country. Two and a half million dollars for three years deal. Two right. and a half million dollars for a defensive coordinator. You know what? Gus Malzahn, he gets it. <laughs> he and he gets understands it. because these guys are leaving. Yeah, they obviously uh, love these schools and they love their job, but they also, you know, it's a business. Yeah. And when they throw money at you, you know, and again, with all things being equal, especially now with facilities and the universities and the legacy of the programs, there's a lot of programs out there have a lot of facil good facilities and a lot of programs out there that have a good name in college football. And, you know, really, DJ, it's good for the coordinators. Don't get me wrong, the, de the defense coordinators, the offensive coordinators, that at a system coach because it raises their bar. You know, now you got to pay them about $2 million just to keep an a, a offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator or really raise it even higher than that because really – these guys want to go somewhere where they can be, you know, their talents can be used also as coaches. But I think one of the biggest things about it, DJ, the recruiting piece is still going to be king. And if you can recruit and you are, you're going to probably be bumped to an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator, if you're already there, DJ, you're going to get a bigger raise just to stay because you got to pay them to, basically for them to, to be able to stay there. you got to pay these defensive coordinators, offensive coordinators. Well, Gus Malzahn certainly set the standard. He set the bar up because, again, most coordinators today are making a, right, right around a million bucks. And again, we were we you know, we were eye popping that because half a you know just a few years ago the guys were yep. making a half a million dollars. But again, the market changed, the money changes, and again, it's only going to get more, more, more you know, increase <laughs> more because of these contracts, deal. That's, right. That's right. I mean, really, man, it's going to get better and better for the uh, you know for the the OCs and the DCs. But at the same time, DJ. Coaching is a lucrative business. I think really the longevity of a head coach in college football is going to be slim and none. But really, we know it's going to take five, six years, DJ, for them to develop a program wherever they go. Well, go, going back to the recruiting, of course, February uh, the 5th, is uh, National Signing Day. And I know, like you mentioned before, there are a few nuggets. Uh, there's a few other clever signing uh, signees out there that uh, need to be captured. And I know that it's not going to surprise me at all if the University of Georgia pops up with a couple of more four or five stars, as well as Clemson. Uh, Auburn has done really, really well. Oh, yeah. But again, you know, it's not going to have the impact of the early signing date deal. But when you talk about signing periods and you talk about if you ask those coaches, I guarantee you they will say this day is just as important as the early one. I mean, really, this is definitely more important, DJ, because you really is sealing the deal. You got a lot of five stars that still have not signed and made, made up their minds yet. So really, it's going to be really, it's going to be able to put a whole class over the top if they get some five stars on, on, the, on the national signing day. But I think really right now, Clemson, has been, they've been number one in recruiting right now. Alabama's right there. Uh, George is right there. LSU is right there. It almost sounds like the college football playoff, DJ. If you can recruit good, DJ, and you're in the top 10 in recruiting, you guarantee in four years you're going to have a decent football team. And we talk about this recruiting, and you hear it, that it's the lifeline and the lifeblood of college football programs, but you also got to have somebody on campus that can help you develop these young men, not only in the weight room, but Dale, but on the field as well, because you know what, these four and five stars, and we've seen them, uh, you know, come and go. Uh, it's great to have them, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you have all the necessary means to develop this player because you want him to be the best that this kid can be so that he can help your program. You, you 
you got to have good coaches, DJ. The assistant coaches, you got to have good coaches to develop these guys. But the other thing, DJ, for is the academics are concerned. Making sure these kids make the transition from high school to college. That is big right now. And really, you know, most parents want to know who is going to be this guy to make sure that my, my kid is going to be on the straight and narrow he's growing into. And I'm really telling you this, DJ, and we talked about this last year, the chaplain of these schools, to make sure these guys stay in line, got good character, going to church, doing the things that they're accustomed to doing, and don't get too far out there. That chaplain piece is big now, too. The, other part, the other part of that deal, not to, not to cut you off, but, you know, when you talk about staffs, and again, you know, you and I went to school years ago, but, uh, and it's so different now, but it's very important for those young African-American players to see people that look like them. That's right. Of course, and of course, you notice that most of the staffs, whether it's Saban, whether it's Gus Malzahn, whether it's Kirby Smart, whether it's Dabo Sweeney, they have a lot of African-American, a lot of black assistants or analysts around to help, uh, you know, of course, help them uh, actually I guess nurture these yeah, young men because right. after they get beat up on on the <laughs> practice field, in the weight room, on the training, on the training fields, you know what? They go back to the dorm feeling down, but they gotta have somebody, a big brother or a, or a coach or some kind of counsel to to be able to say, hey, look, you know what? It's okay. We love you. We want to get the best out of you. Coach didn't mean it, you know. Get, and that's what's happening. I don't care what you say, but I'm telling you folks out there, this is a behind the scenes look. They have more and more African-American staffers now than you have seen ever before. You said it, DJ, and really those behind-the-scene guys, they are very important. They're grad assistants. You know, they got special assistants, special staffers. They're making sure that they got, got a lot of people around these guys that look like them, DJ, but at the same time, former players come in and can give that, their kind of advice and their experience to these guys, because really, there's no need you getting a five-star player on campus and he stays there five days, DJ. That's that's not going to happen. But I think really the nurturing of these players now is very well hands-on. They want to make sure that this person comes out of that school being the best person that they possibly can be. And lastly on that point, again, when we say that look like them, that also understands them, also understands their culture. Because, you know, with the music, of course, with the dress, <laughs> the grooming, it's a little different. You know, now, again, what, what we had to do on, on campus, right. these kids now, you know, it's a different world. And, again, they have to be able to talk to somebody and look at somebody that's a part of that program so that they can really trust those coaches and get the maximum performance. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a short break. You're watching Sports Visions. E&S Men's Clothing Warehouse has been your most trusted name in men's fashion for more than 50 years. We've offered the area's best selection of top quality name brand suits, accessories, and casual wear at the most competitive prices around. Customer service is our top priority. We're the professionals generations have trusted for the best quality and absolutely the best deals. We are E&S Men's Clothing Warehouse. We are simply the best. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs, smoked fresh on our grill daily, or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites, and don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Should planning your travel be more stressful than staying at home? Of course not! Here at Lumpkin Travel, our VIP service makes traveling easy and fun. Girls Trip! We've helped serve thousands of people and families experience their dream vacation by taking the hassle out of travel. Thank you! We book your flight, reserve your hotel, and make sure you have a stress-free vacation so you can enjoy every moment of it. We even help you choose different activities that you're guaranteed to enjoy. And the best part is, we find you the best price at no extra charge for you. Actually, 95% of customers save money and time by booking with Lumpkin Travel. So start thinking about your dream vacation. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, we'll make it happen for you. As easy as one, two, three. Call today or log on and set up your vacation of a lifetime with Lumpkin Travel, your travel agent for life. Hey, my name is George and I love the Chick-fil-A Grilled Nuggets. 
It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick Fil A does. The chicken's super tender, and honestly, the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick Fil A's mac and cheese is the oven toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick Fil A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> Welcome back to Sports Vision Dale. The Senior Bowl was uh, played last week, and I know that a lot of players were able to play themselves into a better position. Some guys might have fall, fell off a little bit, but for the most part, uh, you know, this part of the year, of course, moving forward, the Senior Bowl and into the combines and into their pro days, and uh, that will take you up to the draft day is a very important time. Very important, DJ. And really, we're going to find out, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to find out how good some of these guys came out of the Senior Bowl, how they came up looking. Did they raise their stock, DJ, or did they lose their stock? I, I really was impressed with Jalen. Jalen Hurts did a great job, I think, really just coming in, showing that he's a quarterback. He's that RPO quarterback that's now a new wave quarterback that's going to be very effective in the NFL. I tell you what, if you're looking at the film, and I know I saw Jalen uh, you know, running for his life, but those, those offensive linemen that were in with him, they didn't do themselves any good because it's right yeah. there. The big eye in the sky does not lie. Justin Herbert, of course, the Oregon quarterback, man, he was the MVP of the game. And you know what? He was everything uh, as advertised. Big, strong guy who can push the ball down the field. He was athletic, Dale, and he was quick enough that, uh, of course, he made some plays with his legs. So that's right. I look for him, uh, and I know that Joe Burrow, pretty much for the most part, is the guy. But uh, don't be surprised if a Justin uh, Herbert uh, shows up on the scene. And I know that a lot of the medical is going to be depending on uh, uh, Tua with, with regards to those choices. But, you know, Cincinnati has since said now that, you know, it's not a given that they're going to take Joe Burrow. So they left themselves available because somebody can give up, in which I know several of those teams that are uh, in the mid to, to fourth, fifth spot have a couple of draft choices. That yeah. If they can get, if Cincinnati gets two number one draft choices for the one pick, yeah. I think that uh, Cincinnati can get a, a, a quality quarterback as well as uh, a top pr pass rusher. You know, even though Joe Burrow is too good to uh, kind of give up DJ as the number one pick, they're looking to make their team better for the future and down the line. I think trying to get Chase Young and trying to get probably package that number one pick, DJ, to get some more draft choices. I think they're behind the scenes doing those kind of things because really, you know, the Andy Dalton piece, he's not a bad quarterback. He just needs to be developed a little bit, DJ, but really to, they don't want to give up the Chase Young opportunity either, but they don't want to give up Joe Burrow. So really, it's kind of some wheeling and dealing going on and we're going to be able to find out a whole lot more you know, when the combine comes around. You know, you're thinking that, you know, Joe Burrow probably was not going to even participate in the combine, you know, because they're saying that he's going to be number one pick. I think Chase Young probably is another one that's not going to participate. So those guys still, that if they did anything at the Senior Bowl, DJ, they're going to have a great opportunity. If they go to the combine, they're invited to the combine and get this. It's only 300 people can be invited to the combine. So really, that's going to be a situation where, you know, you're okay, do I get invited? You know, or do I have to wait for my pro day? So there's some opportunities still out there for these uh, college players. Much has been said about the quarterbacks and the top quarterbacks, supposedly, that are going to be considered uh, around the combine and for the NFL draft. But uh, I tell you, what's intriguing to me is that there are a lot of wide receivers. And I'm talking about just on two teams. That's, that's the University of Alabama, you know, <laughs> with, led by Jerry Judy. And, of course, when you talk about, uh, you know, the receivers at LSU. But, man, there's a lot of receivers, good receivers. And, again, we, we, I got my eyes open to some receivers that were in the senior bowl that I had no idea about. But yeah. big, strong, fast, agile guys with good hands, it's going to be interesting as far as the, the receivers. I think really, DJ, when you start talking about the top uh, position in, in college football that's going in the NFL, it is the receiver piece. The receiver, the edge rushers, you always need quarterbacks, and I think really they're going to find out that there is a lot of diamonds in the rough, DJ, because, again, everybody don't get invited to – the combines, but really they, uh, they have the opportunity to do what they need to do at their pro day on campus where I think a lot of the players are more comfortable anyway. If you're watching and you're hearing combine and don't quite know what we mean by that, Indianapolis, uh, Indiana is where they have a big, uh, another big audition, if you will, <laughs> and 300 or so select players that the NFL clubs have uh, assigned or selected to come to Indianapolis in the groups of offensive and defensive linemen, the quarterbacks, wide receivers, linebackers, and defensive backs. Uh, they'll have special groupings, and uh, they'll have an opportunity to go through testing. They'll have an opportunity to uh, on-field testing and, of course, medical testing and psychological testing. That's right, man. I mean, they're going to check you out from head to toe. They're going to check out what kind of mind you have. 
they really going to do the security piece on you, DJ, to find out, okay, can you handle all this money when we give it to you? Or what kind of team player you are? Uh, really, it is a open door career planning and placement and job fair, actually, when they go to the combine, DJ. It's nothing small about the combine. Yeah, it's athletic things. But, DJ, it's all about business when you go there. Absolutely. And, again, I had an opportunity back in the day. We had two combines because uh, several teams weren't a part of the original unit. And so we had a combine not only in Indianapolis. We had one out in Seattle, Washington. But the bottom line was that place at that particular combine, you will have all of the scouts, all of the coaches, and most of the owners in the building, very much like the Senior Bowl. That's right. But it'll be a little bit more intimate, and again, it'll be hands-off as far as all of those coaches that you have seen that come in from around the country to interview and to network uh, to get jobs at the Senior Bowl. It's a lot, the security is a lot tighter. You know, only the NFL uh, coaches and, of course, the NFL owners and general managers, they'll have access to the players. The media is really, you know, kept, uh, kept outside of the box. And uh, you have an opportunity for uh, you, to, you know, your skills as far as, and then everything's taped. Everything you do yeah. from the drills to the 40, and again, uh, the weightlifting, it's, it's amazing how they do it. But again, you know what? Uh, you know, that's just one of the measures of how they measure and how they evaluate players. Well, you know, really, at that combine, it's real detailed. And I mean, really, they break down the 40s, they break down 20 yard shuttles, they do vertical jumps, they do weightlifting. And like you said, DJ, from the mental standpoint, they do one, the Wonderlink test. You know, they really want to know what kind of mind you have also. And really, they're going to interview these guys. You know, it's a it's a, for a job. It's a, actually a job fair for these NFL potential players. And you may mention of it uh, before that uh, the guys that are already ranked at, uh, the, at the highest points, there's no need for them to go in and have opportunity to give somebody doubt when they've already, you know, they already have set the bar here. And, of course, you go up and have a, a lackluster uh, 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 combine, it doesn't make sense. But at the same time, if you're confident, if you know that you are the guy, uh, I don't know, Dale, if I would just go out and, and show that because I wouldn't give that just that much more confidence in the team selected me that, you know what, I, I, can, ra I can raise my, uh, my play to whatever standards. You know, you got me rated high. I'm going to go out here and have fun. This is a part of the process and uh, let, it, let it fly. And, you know, one thing about the Senior Bowl, you know, these guys have been tested at the Senior Bowl also. And some of them said, well, I'm going to keep my, my Senior Bowl time. You know, some that might have didn't run as fast as they wanted to, then they will go into the combine. I'm like, I need to burn it up, man. I need to run a 4-3-4 just to get up on somebody's board. But really, time, height, weight, and speed, all those numbers are very important when you go to the NFL combine. And for you folks out there who don't get invited or didn't get invited to the combine, guess what? Pro days on your campuses. Now, again, that's where really you can make a difference because, again, everybody, all the seniors in particular, uh, will have an opportunity to do the workout. Dale, if you were a walk-on, if you were a second teamer, if you were just a special teamer, you will have an opportunity to run your 40, you get your, all your measurables, and, again, you know, you can't say that the NFL didn't look at you because on pro day, that's the courtesy. And a, a pro day, a, a quick description of the pro day is basically that the NFL sends their scouts to every college and university in this whole country, you know, and they break it down by the SEC conference. They'll break those 14 schools down. And they'll send their, their NFL scouts to those, those areas, and they'll check them out. You know, those guys that really didn't qualify to be uh, in that top 300, they're going to be able to work out for those NFL teams there, right there on campus. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. For all of your tire and service needs, be sure to visit Complete Tire and Service, 3109 Victory Drive in Columbus. For your convenience, we have a 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art building, premium environment to the customer. For workstations, Wi-Fi, we carry Bridgestone, Firestone, Falcon, and Continental. Our managers have over 125 combined years in the industry. We have 24-7 commercial roadside assistance, DOT inspections, complete automotive services. Our phone number is 706. 9400982 Be sure to visit Complete Tower and Service 706-940-0982 Hello, 
everybody. My name is Rosalyn Murray. I'm the owner of Ros Cafe and Catering Services. I'm open seven days a week for catering and only on Sundays for dinner. So you can come in on Sundays only to pick up your delicious meal. I'm a one-stop shop for all your catering needs for weddings, pastor anniversaries, corporate events, family reunions, anything you need catering for. Call me at 706-992-6106. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm DJ Jones. You might know me from my athletic career at Carver High School at the University of Georgia or in my sports broadcasting career. I know a lot of people. But when it comes to an attorney I trust, I call Forrest B. Johnson. I'm Forrest Johnson of Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. I want to let you know how proud we are to be a part of your community, a part of the Columbus community and the Phoenix, Alabama community. Consider us first. When you or any member of your family has been involved in an automobile accident, remember, car wreck, get a check. Call now, 706-223-5380. Welcome back to Sports Visions, Dale. Super Bowl 54, only a few days away. And I know that, uh, again, these two weeks have been the longest two weeks because, you know, it's just been hype and hype and more hype. And again, we had the opportunity to go down to uh, South Beach and, of course, get involved and uh, bring some of that uh, Super Bowl flair back uh, to uh, the Chattahoochee Valley as well. But more importantly, uh, I'm ready for the game to, to, to start, and I'm ready <laughs> because, again, I'm just tired of all the hype. I mean, really, I think the players were ready on Sunday when they got to Miami, DJ. You know, they're ready to play. They got all the preparation done. They just got to do some walkthroughs, got to take care of everybody. Hopefully, they've taken care of the family. Everybody got tickets that needed, and really, they can relax after they work out during the morning times, and some, and most of the time, they're in the morning time. But they're going to have an opportunity, man. I know they're ready to play, and it's going to be a great Super Bowl 54, DJ. One of the things that uh, you have to be really careful about uh, when you're talking about playing in the Super Bowl and being a part of all the festivities that tickets for the family, tickets for your friends, uh, people, you know, again, if you don't handle that, uh, you know, prior to coming down to Miami, you know what, it'll be a hindrance deal. And that's so you don't want anything to, to take you out of the focus of anything but that game at hand. But you know what, that is a, a situation that you have to deal with because you have family, friends, former coaches, that's right. uh, former teammates that think that they deserve to be there. And you know what? It's on you to decide who that select group is because, again, you want to take care of your immediate family, but at the same time, depending on who you are, now you will have an allotment of tickets that will be given to you complimentary. But you also have the opportunity to purchase additional tickets, you know, because you hear these requests for, you know, I got 25, 30, 40 uh, tickets, but again, the NFL is going to give you just, say, 20. Well, you're responsible for paying a face value for the All other right. 20. So that part of it, I just want to throw that out there because people have no idea what these guys go through. They know, yes, we have to focus on the on the team of the opponent, but you also have to decide, make some <laughs> executive decisions That's right. within your own family. Well, you know, really, DJ, it becomes just like, you know, like you said, DJ, you got to take care of your folks that you won't be there, but you got to take care of your business before the week of the Super Bowl. It's got to already be done, so you don't have to worry about that because really one of the biggest things you don't want uh, after the Super Bowl, said, man, you didn't give me no tickets. <laughs> you know, family, friends, and family. I mean, they come thick as thieves uh, when they talk about going to a football game, a major football game like that. And really, it's going to be an interesting game from the standpoint, DJ. It's in Miami. All, you know, really, tourism galore. But the two teams are from so far away. San Francisco, you got Kansas City coming in. And really, it's going to be interesting to see how they travel and their, their fans travel to this game down in Miami. If a Super Bowl ring and a championship is not uh, as in uh, incentive enough for you, just think about this. Again, that one game, I mean, you have an opportunity. The loser gets $70,000 and the winner, almost uh, 100 and a half. Woo-woo! That's a nice, that's a nice piece of change <laughs> right there, player. Yes, it did. Yeah. And again, keep in mind the games, uh, or the divisional games leading into yeah. the Super Bowl, you know, you were picking up uh, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar $50,000 checks along the way as well. I mean, really, DJ, that's big right there. <laughs> you know, you can buy the extra tickets. Yes, with that. exactly. But, yeah, so so that's, that's, that's a good thing. But at the same time, DJ, it's going to be a great game. It I'm is. Looking, I, it's, it would be just what I, I wanted just for a Super Bowl. You know, you got Patrick Mahomes. You got all the weapons on the Kansas City Chiefs. You got Jimmy Garoppolo and, you know, in the 49ers, the legacy of the 49ers, and a solid team as it is. But really, I want to see some of those weapons at hand at work, man. I am looking forward to seeing my boy Miko Hartman do what he do. And I think really with all the, all the stars and of uh, being behind uh, uh, Patrick Mahone, I think really even the Sammy Wright piece, the Tyreek Hill piece, the Travis Kelce piece. I think the four. I mean, I think the Chiefs have all the weapons they have, DJ. But if the 49ers defensive line gets after Patrick Mahone, 
it's going to be interesting, but I think it's going to be a great game either way. High flying, a lot of uh, sparks, a lot of explosion, a lot of explosive plays, Deal. I see <laughs> that the uh, 49ers pulling this one out 30, 36 to 28. Woo! I'm going to go, go 42, 36. 42, 36. I think it's just going to be off. Well, you know, it's just so much explosive, so many explosive players playing, DJ. I just think it's going to be big play after big play. You know, I think Kansas City Chiefs defense is not as up to par as the 49ers defense is, but really, you're not going to be able to stop all those weapons and Patrick Mahomes at the same time. So I think they'll score some points too, but I, I got the 49ers win, 42 36. A lot of special players indeed, but uh, Patrick Mahomes, again, he's already been named as or mentioned as one of the greatest of all time. All he has to do is, of course, uh, he has to win a Super Bowl first and foremost. He won the MVP last year. And again, winning a Super Bowl this year, and of course, having, of course, uh, you know, some tenure, some, some, some years that of, of, of doing that, of production, will certainly set him up to be one of the greatest. Oh, yeah. I think he's already set there on uh, setting his legacy as it is. I know he's changing the trend at quarterback, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. I think these are the kind of ca caliber of quarterbacks that we're going to have and look forward to during the future, DJ. But I think Super Bowl 54 is going to be something special. All right. We'll be right back after this. Should planning your travel be more stressful than staying at home? Of course not. Here at Lumpkin Travel, our VIP service makes traveling easy and fun. Girls Trip! We've helped serve thousands of people and families experience their dream vacation by taking the hassle out of travel. Thank you. We book your flight, reserve your hotel, and make sure you have a stress-free vacation so you can enjoy every moment of it. We even help you choose different activities that you're guaranteed to enjoy. And the best part is, we find you the best price at no extra charge for you. Actually, 95% of customers save money and time by booking with Lumpkin Travel. So start thinking about your dream vacation. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, we'll make it happen for you. As easy as one, two, three. Call today or log on and set up your vacation of a lifetime with Lumpkin Travel, your travel agent for life. Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A grilled nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender, and honestly, the best nuggets I've ever tasted. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> And welcome back to today's final segment of Sports Visions Daily. We've had a, a really great show. I've had an opportunity to pay homage to uh, the man, the myth, the legend, of course, himself, Kobe Bryant, the GOAT. And again, the Black Mamba, a lot of folks out there, uh, he's had a lot of nicknames. And of course, Kobe Bean Bryant, uh, that was another nickname early on in his career. But uh, a great man and a great, uh, I, I guess, a humanitarian, if you will. And I, I can just see a lot of uh, awards, a lot of uh, monuments, a lot of uh, uh, accolades coming with his name on it. I mean, really, I do do DJ, but really, you know, it's just tragic that he died, DJ. But at the same time, I think he's going to be stronger in spirit and, and with him not being here. To, but everything that he's done, DJ, every seed that he's sown, I think really is going to come to fruition and he's going to be remembered throughout the NBA and the world. Our condolences to go out to, of course, Vanessa and all the families that uh, had uh, some person to perish in, uh, in that crash. Deal. NBA All-Star Game is uh, going, coming up, uh, you know, a little bit later in, uh, in the month. And, you know, <laughs> Trey Young is uh, going to be a starter. And That's I know right. that, uh, you know, a lot of folks are excited about that. When we talked about uh, Kobe, uh, Trey was, uh, of course, mentored by Kobe. And, you know, Trey had an outstanding day just, uh, just uh, a few days ago, 45 points, 14 assists. And, uh, you know, it was one of those days where he decided when he, as soon as he found out, because the Sunday that, uh, of course, Kobe uh, died in the plane crash, that was, that's when uh, Trey got word and he changed his number to number eight in honor of uh, Kobe. He had that outstanding performance. But again, uh, the All-Star uh, All -Star game is going to be uh, action packed with some of the greatest players that we've seen in quite a while. In Chicago, man, it'll be right there in Chicago for uh, February 15th, DJ. And I think really it's going to be a great, great. Uh, all-star game as usual you know again we're going to see that international flavor uh, at the all-star game really you got players that are growing and coming in you know but the Trey Young piece 
being as young as he is, DJ, playing for the Atlanta Hawks, for a rookie to be able to be put as a starter on the uh, All-Star team, that's been big, man. It that is, real it big. is. And, of course, they have the opportunity to see the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo that's as right. well as, uh, you know, you miss, you know LeBron James and, you know, again, everybody up and down. Uh, Do- Do- uh, Lo- Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic. That's right, Luka. <laughs> man, these names that have got international, international it's taking over, man. And we got to take a couple classes in foreign language. Yes, man. And really, you know, for the, the, starting, t- uh, the starting team for the East, DJ, you got uh, – Joel MB, you got Trey Young's gonna be starting. You got Giannis gonna be starting, man. You got uh, Kimball Walker that's gonna be playing DJ, and, and then I'm, I'm missing one. Uh, Go to the other team. I got uh, you. But the West, the West team, you know, you got, you know, you got, you got LeBron, you got Anthony uh, Davis, you got, uh, you got uh, my boy Quad Leonard. He's gonna be there. You know, you got the red, the, I mean, really, and Luca Docha, all these boys on the same team, DJ. So it's gonna be a good all star game, probably. Well, uh, we still haven't had an all star game in the 200. <laughs> they, might, they might score 200 points this time. All yeah. right, I'll tell you what. Hey, man, now that's gonna do it for all the sports we have for you today. For Dale Williams, I'm DJ Jones, reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week.